candidate for review tonight is Carmen Sabatino. He is running for Modesto City Council District 3 and is actually a former mayor of Modesto. Welcome, Mayor Sabatino. Well, thank you, Athens. You know, uh, you're, this is a five-minute deal, isn't it? Five minutes, yeah. And yeah, that's a lot better than we get at City Hall. We can only speak there for three minutes. And now that I have five minutes, I want to assure you I don't think I'll be using it all. As uh, Athens said, I am the former mayor of Modesto. I served from 1999 to 2004. And uh, during that period of time, uh, we delivered four balanced budgets. You know, I think that's an important statement to make when you think about it. You've all had your share of flyers that have been sent out to you uh, with character assassination, with big print, uh, that really tell you nothing. I send out a flyer and I think it tells you something. We had some comparisons to make. As mayor, I never raised your water rates. But back in 2004, uh, and this is because it's more issue oriented, the city council decided that eventually, and they started in 2009, they were gonna raise your water rates so much so that in eight years they have doubled them. And they did that by putting your water rates on automatic pilot. And Proposition 218 says that the government should not charge you more than it costs them to provide you that service. So now your water rates will continue to rise uh, every year automatically, whether or not it costs more to uh, provide you that service. My opponent then has doubled your water rates and uh, I think that's something you ought to consider. Uh, we also got back to basics in those days. There were decisions that had to be made. Uh, for example, one of the big decisions, one of the tougher decisions we made was the Gallup Performing Arts. I refused to give them 15 million dollars and if we had made that kind of a loan today we'd be paying 1.2 million dollars. I did other things as mayor that alienated a lot of special interests and these special interests are still at work and briefly I, I want to say that my opponent is now taking credit in his ballot measure that he exposed the SCAP scandal, that he exposed the idea that this city, this council, was given $25 million by the federal government, took $2.5 million and put it in their general fund to supervise and administer the $25 million. My opponent knew about SCAP in early April said nothing, didn't go, to their, didn't go to the council, didn't go anywhere. He said he went to the city uh, manager, and that might be true. And even if it is true, the city manager is responsible. No, my opponent decided that he would take the story to the Modesto B. And on May 28th, the Modesto B was so proud to expose this story uh, about the uh, Stanislaus uh, Community Assistance Program. But the scandal is going to go bigger than that. And what you ought to know is that today they are trying to cover that scandal up. Wednesday, after the election, it's on the city council agenda. This city is going to hire a consultant for $290,000 to supervise the SCAP NSP program. They're going to pay $290,000 to supervise a program that they were already paid $2.5 million. This consultant apparently is, claims that he's going to do a better job than city staff. Well, the truth is that city staff hasn't done a good job. They've been there for two years doing the job. But the truth also is that the consultant they hired doesn't know that much about the project themselves. 
I want you to think clearly about the choices that you have to make on November 8th. And I'd appreciate your vote. I appreciate the fact that you have taken the time to listen in tonight uh, on this channel. And I want to thank Sargon and I want to thank Athens. And uh, hopefully we'll see you Tuesday night. Thanks again.